Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the project we're making today. It's this little post note holder, and you can see here it just flips down and up, and there you've got all your post it notes, and it just has a magnetic closure. So, let me show you what I did. I have a piece here of the Merry Merlot cardstock, and this measures eight and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And on the eight and a quarter inch side, we're going to do some scoring. And the first score line is going to be at three and a quarter inches, and then again at three and a half inches, and then again at six and three quarter inch, six and three quarter inches, and again at seven inches. Okay. But all the measurements will be on my blog post. And the links to that, and that's on my website. And the link to that is in the description box below. So let's do some folding now. I'm just going to fold on all these, um, what you call these things, score lines. That's it. It's been a long day. It's only about half past two, and I filmed six videos, and I've cooked a whole batch of chickpea curry and stuff as well, and all sorts. So and I'm not really thinking that straight so this is how a little thick piece is going to come together so the first thing I'm going to do is stick down our post-it notes and get this down and out the way okay and all I'm going to do is put some what you call the stuff tear and tape I told you I'm not with it today on the back here to hold this down. You could equally use some Tombow, but tearing tape is what I've got in my hand, so I'm going to use that. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to give it a little burnish. It just helps it to stick and to get the backs off more easily. Not that I ever really struggled with the backs of the tear and shape, saying that now. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now that it's sticky at the back, you're going to be wanting it with the top of your post it notes facing just this one big flap here. And you want to centre it left to right, and you want to buff it up to the score line. I haven't got it very centred. But it will be fine okay and then you can see here it'll fit round nicely okay like that and then what I'm going to do next is put my magnets down and I've got just these very small neodyme magnets so I'm going to stick them down with some tear and tape and then cover everything up with some what you call that stuff designer series paper so going to put one there and then just to make sure I have them the right way around which I didn't like that I'm just going to take it keeping it in the same formation and let it stick down yeah it's everything sticking to me instead do you ever get those days where everything just wants to stick to to you instead of what it's meant to and then you're just going to fold it over making sure everything's straight and aligned and give it a bit of a press and there we have our magnetic closure and that's the basis done so now just get rid of these bits of tear and tape before they annoy me I'm going to bring back our um, designer series paper and this is actually the Rococo Rose and this is from the family stack and this is measures three inches squared and we're just going to put this down here so I'm going to take the backing off this piece of tear and tape and then we're going to put our piece of designer series paper and try and get the central a bit like that and then I have two more pieces here and these measures three inches by one inch and I'm just going to stick it down here 
and this is just going to cover our magnets up. So that's one piece there. And then another piece on top here. I'm just trying to keep everything lined up and straight. Okay, and there you go. So there you've got your little magnetic closure. That's pretty much done. We're just going to decorate it with a little bit of stamping. And the stamps that I'm going to use is this one called Butterfly Gala. I'm going to use just the sentiment here says a little note because I think that's really apt. And I've just got a scrap piece here of Whisper White. And we're going to stamp in Merry Merlot ink. So just ink it up. And I'm going to. There we go. That's fine. Close up our ink pad and then I'm just going to use my simple chamois to clean my stamp because anything which seems to have a red pigment seems to just migrate everywhere so I don't want to get splotches on anything so now we're just going to cut this out freehand and to do that I'm just going to use my trimmer quickly and just cut this out. Okay so I cut it out with my trimmer and then I matted on a little piece of uh, Merry Merlot and cut that out so it's matted like that. So we're going to bring back our uh, post-it note holder and we're going to put some snail. I'm putting a good amount on the back because I don't want it to move. And then we're just going to put this down sort of straight in the centre like that. And then finishing touches, I'm going to put a little rhinestone here if I can get it up on the eye of the little and there we have our two post-it note holders what do you think? I think they're really cute and it opens up and then you've got the closure so it won't fall open and the, the closures do work quite nicely you see so there you go so I really like that I hope you did too if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want any more information about this project, um, supply list, links to my online shop etc. It'll be all on the in the description box below because it'll be on my website and the links to that is in the description box below alongside all my social media links. So thank you once again and until next time enjoy being creative. Bye!